So we've left Elizabeth Harbor in Georgetown. We're sailing on a broad reach in the Exuma Sound. And uh, it's nice out here. Light winds, our apparent wind is around eight. So the true wind is probably about 10 or 11 and we're doing three and a half knots. Just scooting along. The motion's not too bad. Uh, we noted that this is the first time we've been out in a big water passage and not been at least somewhat bashing into seas. So <laughs> it's nice. I got my fishing lines out. This time if the mahi gets snagged, he's coming in the boat or else I'm going to jump in and catch him with my bare hands before he swims away. <laughs> <laughs> Lindy's just chilling out over here. What do you think, Lindy? Cool. We've got about uh, probably 14 miles before we'll go back on the inside. So we'll, we'll just kind of sail along like this for four hours or so. so. Should be nice. Just chillaxing. We sailed along through the Exuma Sound toward Rat Key Cut. It was a beautiful day, the weather was as forecasted, and the sailing was very peaceful. It's awesome when the only sound on holiday is water lapping against the side of the boat. So the beautiful Lindy is up here watching things as we're underway and I decided that I would make some BLTs for us. I got the stove gimbaled so it moves with the rocking of the boat, some turkey bacon, some bread Lindy made, some tomatoes that needed to be eaten, and then the lettuce is actually sprouts that I grew. So. Should be super yummy. I'm getting hungry already. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Lindy? Very good. <laughs> After our sandwiches, we went back to chilling and enjoying the beautiful sail. After a couple more hours, it was time to drop the sails, turn on the engine, and motor through the narrow rat key cut for anchoring. Our last day of sailing in the Exuma Sound would be one of our easier days in the Bahamas, right? Wrong. As we neared rat key cut, we had our first major systems breakdown of our cruising lives. And oh yeah, rat key cut is in the middle of nowhere. No help anywhere for hours sail in either direction. Okay, all was going pretty good. And then uh, we both heard this zing noise. So we slowed the RPMs on the motor. And I came down and I saw that the raw water pump was kind of red hot. And it looks like the bearings are busted. So I've almost got it removing the raw water pump. Seeing if I can fix it. <laughs> Here's the water pump. And the bearings are in there. I think I gotta take it apart and see if I can get them going or search through my spares and see if I got spares. We'll see. So Zach's taking the water pump apart. We think we've got most of the bearings that are supposed to be in there. Who really knows? <laughs> um, but we think we've got enough that we can put it back together and put it on there and limp into an anchorage and then assess the situation further from there. If this works, it'll be a freaking miracle. <laughs> and, and for anybody who uh, wants to point out that there's sails on our boat, it is indeed true. However, we currently only have four knots of wind. We're going less than two knots. And uh, these cuts to get to the other side of the uh, Exumas, where the anchorages are, 
narrow I guess and you can get a pretty good current through there so we're not super excited about trying to sail through it when we're not sure what the current's like and there's rocks all around so that's it's our dilemma well I didn't end up getting it fixed put it back together and uh, put it on and the bearings just too broke uh, for it to work I guess I'm thinking about pulling it off and just trying again but in the meantime we've turned around and we're gonna sail back to Georgetown because uh, that's the closest most protected harbor that's easy to get into where we can anchor just from sail without using the motor so that's the latest there's Lindy eating some bread yeah. <laughs> all right let me go pull that pump off again and give it another try and uh, got it back on the engine here it's this guy right there got all the hoses connected back to it and now it's time to fire it up and see if see if it worked so through hole. the through holes open the test is going to be if anything like falls apart right here or if Lindy sees water coming out the exhaust which you... all right, ready? yep low rpm all right what did she see no water. No water. Oh, no well, go ahead and turn it off, babe. Darn. Okay, so we were sailing uh, on our plan to go back towards Georgetown, but it was into the wind. And we weren't liking it, so we changed plans. Uh, we've turned around and we're going to sail north uh, with the wind at our back towards uh, Dotham Cut to go in around Staniel Key. And we're going to just sail slow enough to uh, arrive there uh, once it becomes daylight. Places where you can get things done at Staniel Key and uh, we'll try to get this pump fixed. Sunset. We got the sails reefed in. We're just creeping along. There's Lindy. Hiya. <laughs> so we've sailed all night, taking turns resting, and uh, now we're getting close. So it's <coughs> high tide. The uh, current should be fairly slack. We should just go right on through. Then we'll sail around towards Big Major spot. So that's the plan. Whew. Well, we made it through that cut. It was a little bit of what they call a rage, where there was waves in there, and it was kind of nerve-wracking, but we made it. It was right back there. Now uh, we're sailing here on the Exuma Bank side. Staniel Key is right over there. That's where we're going to go. There's some easy anchorages to get into and uh, we're just going to like sail up to it and drop the anchor. We've made it around a big major spot and I somehow set it up by pure accident luck that drifting sideways uh, we're going to kind of end up in the middle of the anchorage. It's nine o'clock. We've been out very short uh, for 24 and a half hours and we're tired well we made it oh my gosh that was rough <laughs> but we anchored with no problem I still got to finish taking down the sail because we sort of took that down in a hurry and here we are back at big major spot the pig beach Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dive on the anchor, straighten up Holiday, and then maybe look at ordering a new water pump for the diesel, or maybe just sleep and do that tomorrow. Well, it was Monday when the pump blew. Today is Friday. There's still the old pump there, 
and it, this morning we got the new one. So we're about to uh, install it and then uh, start the engine and hopefully everything works. I got the pipe fittings on and the pulley goes right up in here. We have installed it. Hooked all the hose connections back up, got our belt tension where we want it, aligned it as good as we could. <sighs> Come on, baby. <laughs> all right, Lindy, bring the RPMs up to, uh, huh? Huh? There's no water. Okay, okay. So we had water for a second and then it stopped. Got to figure like that it. out. Alright, let's shut it down. <laughs> Got to figure that out. It, it helps to open the through hole. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Looks very good. After our most trying passage so far and most of a week spent with a broken down boat, it was time to have some fun. I think that this is where we're going to swim in right there. Oh yeah, I see people. Cool. Got a tour boat, kicking some cool tubes. Alright. We were at the famous Thunderball Grotto from the James Bond movie Thunderball. A grotto is basically a cave sitting on top of the water. We had heard Thunderball Grotto had lots of fish for snorkeling. Watch your head, Lily. Wow. This is cool. Wow. you Lindy? Yes. Very nice. All right. Diesel's working. We went on an excursion. All's back right with the world. <laughs>